Hello there, this is Cyril. Um, I uh, feel really frustrated right now. Um, I'm dealing with uh, my mental illness symptoms. And um, one of my areas in my behavioral plan, time management, since I'm used to Ubering and used to having things done at home, partly from the COVID thing and from agoraphobia, I'm not very good at managing time to catch a bus. And my executive functioning is out, um, which is the uh, ability to uh, plan things and think things out and read bus schedules and make plans to do things. Is, has been kind of futzed out somewhat. And that can happen when you have uh, trauma symptoms. That can happen when you have complex PTSD or any kind of mental illness that fogs your brain and hijacks your brain, which can be environmental or caused by a chemical imbalance. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'm not going to do a big analysis on it. But as I speak, I'm struggling, muddling through that that stuff in my brain going on. Um, I think I had a bad dream and my mentor has been counseling me lately to, um, he's been counseling me to, um, see, um, that's, that's your case in point right there. I'm so hijacked in my brain right now. I can't even think, let alone talk. It's almost like someone, uh, turned down a switch and my thoughts are slowing down, and I can't talk. I can't process the thought, so it'll get to my speech center in time and let me uh, say the words to express my thoughts. It's really frustrating, you guys. The screen just turned off, so I don't know if the recorder is still on. Okay, it is. I, I need to watch the screen, make sure it doesn't shut off, make sure my recorder is on while I'm talking. I just wasted two minutes. Um, this is going to be on my Spreaker podcast um, until I learn how to use Spotify for podcasters again starting in July. I'm not going to be making any more podcasts on Spotify for podcasters because I don't want to be thrown off balance. I want to be prepared for that in case I can't uh, use it anymore. I had a bad dream. I, um, I've been counseled not to listen to uh, other people's podcasts that have elements of trauma in them. There's disclaimers in front of their podcasts. If there's uh, violence and sexual abuse and uh, suicide or anything that's, you know, triggering or activating to people. So uh, I think I'm going to try and uh, listen to things that might help my brain be soothed and calmed while I'm sleeping and while I'm uh, waking up or falling asleep because I think I had a bad dream and I dreamed it was about, I think it was about Olga and um, the woman at IOP, the client that I had a crush on. Um... I had a nightmare, I had a little bad dream about her, and um, I'm working through trauma and working through a process for myself of universal ethics, and one of my uh, things that I wrote down, commandments if you will, in my ethics process is have have ethical love, make ethical love. Um, do it for the right reasons. Do it to bond with your betrothed or your partner or committed relationship. And contain to maintain. Um, have a safe home with integrity. And um, I dreamed that um, Olga knew. And I dreamed that uh, I dreamed that she knew how I felt about her. And I dreamed that she uh, was pleasuring me, and um, 
I woke up just feeling yucky and my sinuses were congested again. Maybe it's the weather, maybe I'm run down, but I woke up feeling extremely tired, really drained, like the very essence of my life was out of me. And um, I'm still feeling really drained. This is my second week out of IOP. I was planning on uh, surprising Olga at the bus stop and I decided not to because I'm not in a place where I can handle it, obviously. Um, she called yesterday and I returned her call and left a message and she hasn't called again. So I think I'm going to just take care of myself today and let her, let her be. And I was going to go to uh, Cherie's and he and I were going to have a session together. Um, he was going to provide a space in his home for me to have a session because the apartment noise here is so bad. Um, the neighbors, the neighbors are really good right now, but, um, sometimes they still make a lot of noise and I have trouble focusing on my work. I get distracted and I was very distracted all last week trying to do this at home because they were, uh, making noise and vibrating my floor and I had trouble concentrating, focusing. And it was my first week out of IOP, so I was really traumatized by having to leave IOP. And um, so uh, there's something I want to tell you. Sometimes when you have mental illness, you might make some plans or start something, start a project or make some plans. And um, you might not be able to uh, do things as planned. Um... There's a spiritual wisdom that says, don't worry about the outcome. Just make the plans and don't worry about the outcome. But I'm frustrated because the outcome is I missed the bus. I, I had to pay a bill. I have to pay bills at the beginning of the month and I had to pay a bill and it took a little while. And um, I didn't manage the time quite right, quite correctly. And I disappointed Cherie. He was uh, expecting me and um, I had to cancel the date. Because I missed the bus. And I don't want to be there. I don't want to get there late. He would have understood if I'd gotten there late. But I don't want to start um, my session late. Um, it's very important that I keep my schedule. Um, one thing IOP did for me was they helped me have a stable schedule. I had to be there at noon for group every day. And um, I had to be there. It was up to me to make it there by 11 30, 11 or 11 30 for lunch. And I was able to do that during the time they were uh, hoovering me and love bombing me and uh, cajoling me to come back. And um, that ended. That ended uh, a week before last. They got back to their normal furry old selves and treated me like crap. And my number was still blocked from their system. Um, I still couldn't call them, and they told me a uh, week before last Friday to call them, and they knew that I couldn't call them because I was blocked, and they denied that they blocked my number, and even if they were to unblock my number, I still don't want to talk to them, because if they're going to have an attitude where they need to block my number, I don't trust them either, because they're 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 shutting me out. And I don't want a ther I don't want an environment like that is not therapeutic if I'm being shut out for no reason and they're denying it and they're gaslighting me and denying it. So um I was really traumatized from that all week last week. You know, knowing that, realizing that was going on and it, it hitting me in the gut finally and me having to leave. And I don't know how to explain that to Olga. She seems to be reciprocating my friendship now, finally. And um, I don't know how to explain to her that I've I've left and why. I don't know if she'll be able to even uh, process what I would be saying to her. Olga, how can I say, Olga, I'm le I had to leave because they blocked me. They don't want to talk to me. They, they've got some kind of an issue with me that they won't tell me about. And, um, they're denying it. It's like some, you know, just imagine this, someone, someone uh, hitting you over the head with a basketball bat and knocking you unconscious. You wake up, 
you come out of it and you say, what happened? And they're like, I don't know. Or, uh, yeah, I, I hit you, but, um, or I, I didn't hit you. And, um, you, 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 you feel, you put your hand on top of your head and you know, there's a goose egg there. And, um, they don't, you know, they're denying that they hit you with a baseball bat. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going through, you guys. And um, I'm upset because um, I promised myself and Cherie that I would make a date. I would be there at, at noon, and I messed up. I also need to know that um, when you have a mental illness, you can't function. You very often can't function like someone who works a regular job. And that's the point I brought home with Social Security uh, last fall. I said, listen, I've got a disability, but I don't have a provider to certify me. You're going to need to certify me, but I'm definitely it because uh, I can't show up at a job every day on time and work. I'm going to get fired on my first day because of my symptoms. So especially if I wake up from a bad dream Monday morning and I'm exhausted and I can barely even get up, get up out of bed, let alone uh, get my breakfast and coffee and get dressed and um, and even pay my bill. I was able to manage getting that done, probably because I was in survival mode while I was logging onto the computer. But after that's over, I miss. I I realize I missed my bus and I can't go, get over there on time. And uh, I'm I'm trying to even train. That, that's the kind of training I'm even giving myself. For uh, a functional life, if not a work life. So, um, excuse me if my thoughts are not organized, but there you go. Um, I have a 15-minute limit on this uh, podcast per episode. So, um, talk to you later.